Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video and today I'll be retouching three images. One, two, three. Alright, so I'm going to do a quick uh, skin retouch and also color grading. It's not going to be a long video. I try. I'll try. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to start with this. I'm not sure if you guys have seen the behind the scenes I did last week, but yeah, I did a behind the scenes. So let's look at the, um, the uh, settings for this image. I was shooting with the Sony A7 III, Tamron 28-75mm 2.8 lens. My shutter speed was at 800, uh, I was shooting at 3.2, uh, ISO 100. I was using the flash, the Explorer flash, I was shooting high speed sync. And my shot was at, my light was at about 16 power I believe. Alright, so let's get right to the editing. Alright, so I'm going to start by doing some color adjustments. Uh, before I do that though, let me just scroll up to see if I need to make any, you know, what? I'm just going to clean up the image first. I'm going to create a new layer and then I'm going to go to my uh, patch tool because the patch tool is what I like to use. It's um, it's easier for me to use actually. So uh, press the uh, num lock, well not num lock, the caps lock. So guys, if you see like you have an X on your mouse pointer it's because the uh the lock the cap lock key is on so you just click it and it should go away all right good so i'm just gonna remove all the blemishes from the model skin real quick as a matter of a fact i think i want to do this for all the images so before i start any more adjustments to this image with any other tool all right, so I'm done. I'm going to go on to the other image real quick. This one was shot with the, well, same camera, same everything. Um, shutter speed was the same, but I was shooting on F4. I just like this look. Even, even though it's dark, I just like this look. So I'm just going to zoom up to see if there's any blemish I need to remove. All right, I have like right here. All right, so all I'm doing is to remove the blemishes. And this is very important, trust me. It's one of the most important part of skin retouching. All right, I think I'm done uh, right here. Let me just quickly zoom out. All right, good, I'm going to the other image now. Scroll up. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to remove the obvious ones. Applying the mixer brush using the frequent separation technique should soften most of them. Most of the pimples and you can just remove them easily. Alright. So I'm going to go back to the first image. And then I'm going to do some... Well, first I'm going to crop the image. I'm going to crop it to the 4 to 5 ratio. So I can upload it to Instagram. I need to make the adjustment before I crop it, so right there should be fine. I'm going to come over here and do the crop for this one as well. Think about right there should be fine. And this one. Then I'm going to kind of straighten the image a little bit. Alright, that's done. So I'm going to go back here to this one, then I'm going to go to camera raw. So I'm going to create a duplicate of this image first. And then I'm going to go to filter, camera raw. And the image is a little bit dark in the background and stuff like that. So I'm going to go to basics. And then I'm going to go to the shadows and bring up the shadows. So the background is not that dark anymore. And then I'm going to do 
highlights just a little bit of highlight I don't want to blow out the sky so all right then I'm gonna do a little contrast just a little bit exposure all right and then I'm gonna come down to the collaboration and the blue primary color or the blue primary and I'm just gonna do that I'm gonna show you guys the before and after while I do this all right so I make some adjustments there so I'm gonna go back to the basics then I'm gonna go to dehaze and just pump a little dehaze in the image like that all right, I think I like what I have I'm gonna play with the colors in the background a little bit um, so go to color grading no color mixer uh, the blue in the sky right here right blue so I'm gonna pump some blue in the sky like that and then I'm going to go to the green in the background and just make some adjustments and see what it looks like uh, not much let me see all right so I like the green all right not gonna do that I'm gonna go to the HSL and just make some more adjustments to the yellow I wonder I, I like this and I like this which one I should go with I'm just gonna leave it in the in the middle right, maybe right there if you want to play with the sky color some more you can but I'm not going to right that looks good to me I don't think I need to do anything else with it all right uh, before I come out of this I'm gonna save the adjustments that I've done so I can go back in and use this again so I'm gonna say save and then all the adjustments that I've made I can save it I'm gonna name this um, I'm just gonna name it Tony <laughs> I'm gonna click save and then when I come here to this little thing right here the presets I should come down here and I should see Tony right here so I can um, use this preset again if I want to so I'm gonna press OK and that's done I'm done with this image the one thing I'm gonna do with this image though before is to just add some blue in the shadows uh, I like this maybe I'm gonna you know get rid of some of the blue in the shadows a little bit like that I might just try to add color grade color lookup on it as well I'm gonna put this down at about 8% good so I'm done with that image so I'm gonna go on to the second image now and then I'm going to create a duplicate I'm now gonna go to camera raw and I'm gonna make some adjustments to the image the image is a bit dark so I'm gonna like brighten it a little bit so I'm gonna go to camera real quick and then I'm gonna go to auto uh, I'm, I want to try the preset I've created I think I like it the brightens up the image I'm gonna press OK so that's the before that's the after so that looks really good um, yeah that looks good All right, uh, gonna do some skin retouching on this one. So I'm gonna go to the uh, frequency separation action. I'm gonna press four for the radius because I don't want the skin. Well, the skin is gonna be soft at four. All right, so I'm gonna zoom this up. And then I'm going to press M on the keyboard for the mixer brush. That is my shortcut for the mixer brush. And this is the settings right here. And all I'm going to do is just, you know, brush. Don't really need to apply too much because I like when my images look natural. So all I'm doing right now is to, you know, just even out the skin, basically. Trust me, it's best to have your images look natural. It's best to have your images looking natural rather than fake to be honest with you i know that a lot of photographers um have images that looks really plasticky and stuff like that because that's what people like but trust me you just want your image to be 
um, in one like this so let's look before and after yeah that's all you need you don't want too much I don't even gonna do anything to the foot that's fine and then I'm going to apply blue in the shadows that's a little bit dark um, I, I can just do color look up and then put this at about 20 let's do this again two good I could brighten it a little bit by go back going back to camera raw let me press auto and see All right, that's too bright what I could do is to come here to exposure and just put it like right there and if the skin doesn't look like how you want it to look you can always come to color mixer and go to well hue and you could adjust the skin so it looks more natural or look closer to what her skin look, looks like all right so that looks good um there's nothing more i think i need to do with this image so i'm done so i'm going on to this image now and then the first thing i'm going to do is to create a duplicate and then i'm going to scroll up and fix right here so i'm just going to press l on the keyboard for the lasso tool make a selection then i'm going to press shift backspace no command backspace actually no i think it's shift backspace right for content aware and it should fill didn't do a good job i'm going to press j while it's still selected and just move it up now i'm just going to make a selection like this i could have used the um the clone stamp tool as well because that works as well all right that looks good i have one more here i'm gonna try the um shift backspace as well for content aware don't think i like that so i'm just gonna do this bring it down like that nobody's gonna know trust me and then i'm going to do work on our skin as well i'm gonna put this at four again the lower you're going number is the more plasticky your skin is gonna look <laughs> all right so i'm on the mixer brush again and all i'm doing is just making one streak two streak three streak until the image looks in one like it looks together looks even it's all about practice because you will not get this in one go trust me so before after good um, as for color grading I'm gonna create a new layer Control J, then camera raw. I'm gonna try to apply the same um, preset. All right, so now the preset looks good, but it's bright, really bright. It's just gonna make some, right, I'm gonna put normal, that looks good. See the difference? I'm gonna go to the basic and just bring down the exposure a little bit like that that looks good I love that I'm gonna press OK and then I'm gonna apply some blue in the shadows again I'm gonna put this at about 20 then I'm gonna go to color lookup again and put this at about 10 and I'm done I'm done so let me go back to the first image and see if I need to work on the skin don't think I need to work on the skin for this one to be honest with you I, I didn't work on the skin for this image I, I don't think I need to but I just feel like I'm going to <laughs> and just to ensure that I don't apply too much I'm just gonna leave it at 6.4 mixer brush and then I'm just gonna do that 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 come down to the foot 
same thing. And then I'm going to get the patch tool and remove some of these and I'm done. I'm done. So I have a shortcut here for my logo. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to change this to about 24. Well, not my logo, my watermark. I'm going to put the watermark right here. And then I'm going to press this thing I have right here that will um, save it to my Dropbox. I'm just going to move this over to this one here as well. Then I'm going to put it right here. Save it to my Dropbox. Right here. Right. Yeah, right there should be fine. Save it to my Dropbox. But if you don't have a shortcut like me, all you need to do is to come here to File, Export, um, Save for Web, and ensure that you're saving it as 1080, and the height will adjust itself automatically. And you just save it wherever you want to save it, and it will be perfect for Instagram. So guys, if you have learned anything from this video, just give me a thumbs up, like, share, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe to this channel. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.